Thousands who work for the universities of Wisconsin are still waiting for word tonight. Is the agreement that would raise their pay dead on life support or still alive? Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessica Bricebeck. We appreciate you being there. Those pay raises and building projects are still on the line tonight. Earlier today, UW's Board of Regents met behind closed doors three days after they rejected a proposed deal with Republicans on campus diversity efforts and pay raises. The CBS 58 Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin has the latest on these negotiations and why some people's jobs could be on the line after voting against the deal. Call the roll. On Tuesday, the Board of Regents at the Universities of Wisconsin met for the first time since turning down a deal that would limit diversity efforts in exchange for UW funding. The meeting was open to the public for less than five minutes before the board met in closed session. What was discussed and whether another vote will occur are both unclear after UW System President Jay Rothman declined to tell CBS 58 any details. We had a closed session and I'm not at liberty to speak about what happened. An open government advocacy group says it's wrong to have discussions behind closed doors on an $800 million deal tied to diversity programs, UW pay raises and building projects. I think people might have been a little bit shocked to see that an issue that has such tremendous public interest is being discussed behind closed doors. And I think it's unfortunate that that's the case. Pressure to pass a deal is building after Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, who led the effort to withhold UW funding until diversity programs are restructured, said Monday he's done negotiating. We are not going to give the raises. We are not going to approve these new building programs. We are not going to approve the new money for the university unless they at least pass this deal. CBS 58 is also learning that some regents who voted against the proposed deal could lose their jobs. Senate President Chris Kapinga says these four regents who have not been confirmed by the state Senate are on thin ice. We have colleagues who are concerned about different actions or things they've said in the past. And now they've just added one more thing to the list of items that concerns people. I do think that this action will probably move people into the position where they're ready to vote no on them. Cabaga suggested the four regents appointed by Governor Evers could be rejected by the Senate as soon as January when lawmakers return to session. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.